For today's video, we will talk about illumination. So, this is a part for the part 2, I mean. So, this is usually um, in the board exam. So, this is very vital for your review. Okay, so let's start. A medium unshaded lamp hangs 8 meters directly above the table. To what distance should it be lowered to increase the illumination to 4.45 times its former value? So, um, there is a table. Let's say we have a round table. Okay. And then, so bear with my drawing. So, above it is a... Uh, a lamp which is 8 meter above the table so 8 meter is our distance number 1 also it says here that um, the illumination is lowered this is the distance number 2 which is missing and then the distance here which we can represent as just D is missing as well so, what will we do here? So, we should uh, memorize the simplified formula which is E1 all over E2 is equivalent to um, D2 over D1 squared. And our first illumination here is equivalent to just E1. And then our second Illumination is just equivalent to 4.45 multiplied by E1. Because it's, it is said here that it should be lowered to increase the illumination. 4.45 is former value. So the former value, we will represent it as E1 and then multiply it with 4.45 to get the second value of our E. And then our distance number one is equivalent to eight. So we are we use this formula to find the distance number two. So let's plug in our known value. We have E1 all over 4.45 E1, which is multiplied to D2, which is the missing one, all over eight squared. So let's use our calculator. We have um this one will be cancelled because it's just equivalent to one. So we will have here one over four point forty five alpha equals um d squared which is alpha x squared all and um, alpha x all over 8 is to 2. So we will have the value of 3.79. So our D2 is equals to 3.79. So as we see here, 8 meter is equivalent to D plus D2. So we can say that D1 is equivalent to D plus D2. Our D1 is equivalent to 8 our D2 is equivalent to 3.75. Therefore, um, we have 8 is equivalent to 3.75 plus D. So, we, get, we will be able to get the distance. So, we have 8 minus 3.75 is equivalent to D. What is the value of our D? 8 minus... 3.75 so we have 4.25 or simply 4.3 or 4.2 whatever you want this will be our final answer okay so in here we have just to, we have to take note of this simplified formula so that we won't get trouble simplifying formulas okay so let's head on to our next um, next sample. So here we will use the same formula, which is E1 all over E2 
equivalent to D2 over D1 raised to 2. Okay, so our illumination number 1 is equivalent to 5 to 8 flux. So let me first read, okay? So we have a light source located 2.75 meter from the surface produces an illumination of 5 to 8 flux on the surface. We have to find the illumination if the distance is changed to 1.55 meter. So our E1 is equivalent to 5 to 8 flux and our distance number 1 is equivalent to 2.75. Our E2 here is missing. We have to find that one and then our D2 here is equivalent to 1.55 meter. So we have just we just have to plug. So we have here 5 to 8 locks all over E2 which is missing um, and then our D2 which is 1.55 all over 2.75 squared. So let's use our calculator to get our E2. So we have 5 to 8 alpha x equivalent to um, 1.55 over 2.75 squared. So we have the illumination number 2 as 1662.01 I mean 02. This would be our final answer. Okay? So let's head on to the next one. This one is the same as the first one. So we have here a 75 watt lamp be lowered in order to double the illumination on the object which is 75 centimeter directly under it. So let's draw. So there is a bulb here and then the object, let's say we have here the table as well. Let's say that is the object. And then the distance of this one is 75 centimeter. It serves as our D1. Also, it says here that the lamp is lowered. So let's lower the lamp. Our D2 is missing. And then our D here is missing as well. So, it says here that the first illumination is just equivalent to E1. And then our second illumination is equivalent to 2 times E1. Why? Because it is said here, it says here that double the illumination. So, the first one is simply 1 and then the second one is double the E1. Okay? So, our distance number 1 here is equivalent to... 75 centimeter and then the distance number two is missing so we use the conventional formula which is e1 over e2 is equivalent to d2 over d1 squared okay so we have here e1 all over 2e1 is equivalent to d2 which is missing all over d1 which is 75 squared so this will be cancelled because it will just become 1. So let's try and solve. We have here 1 half is equivalent to 1 um, x all over 75 squared. So we have um, 53 as our answer. Approximately, our D2 is equivalent to 53. So, as I said before, our D1 is the summation of D plus D2. So, our D1 is equivalent to 75. Our D2 is equivalent to 53 plus D. So, therefore, we will get the value of our D by simply subtracting 75 I mean subtracting 53 from 75 so we will obtain the value of D which is equivalent to 
22. So, our D here is equivalent to 22. And then, 22 is our final answer. That's all. So, we have to practice to be able to gain more knowledge about this type of problems. Okay. So, next one. A certain light produces an illumination of 800 lux on a surface. You have to find the value of illumination on that surface if the distance of the light source is double. Okay? So, the light source is double. So, our E1 is equivalent to 800 lux. And then, our E2 is missing. So, our D1 is equivalent to simply D. And then, our D2 is equivalent to 2D. Why? Because it says here that it is double. That's why I multiplied 2 with D. So, the conventional formula is E1 over E2 is equivalent to D2 over D1 squared. Therefore, we have um, 800 locks all over E2, which is the missing one, equivalent to 2D over D squared. Right? So, this D will be cancelled. So, we will left with 800 E2, um, 2 over 1 squared. So, E2 is equivalent to 800 all over alpha x equivalent to 2 over 1 squared. So our x will be, I mean our E2 will be 200 lux. So that would be the final answer. I hope you learned something from my videos. And please do like, comment, and share for those who are who are going to take for the exam. This, I hope this really helps. Thank you for watching.